What is going on guys? It is Fatal Reaper here today, back again on the HP Pavilion Gaming Laptop. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. We are back on Dying Light 2 on the HP Pavilion. So, you guys wanted a test for like the city or in the city, obviously there's more going on here and here it is. This is a quick uh, kind of parkour moment here, run through. I think this is the kind of escape part where you gotta escape. Uh, some of the zombies and stuff at night. It's kind of the first part you start running. A lot going on, a lot of action here. And of course, we're in the city part. I know a lot of you wanted to see that in the FPS test. FPS, I'm going to let you know, as a whole is the same. It's anywhere from 55 to 65. We are on low quality, as you just saw. Low, low quality settings is the best for the HP Pavilion. Again, you do have to take that in, uh, you know, accountability or account. You know, this is a this is a high end very demanding game and the laptop is running this pretty smoothly and even on low settings game looks phenomenal and we're getting decent fps we're getting about 55 to 60 i will note that i did in fact um get a slight increase when i stopped recording now sometimes when you record you obviously will get more fps it just kind of depends or less now when i recorded i got a little bit less when i stopped recording i got about 65 ish Sometimes, sometimes into the 70s. So you're looking at you're looking at a little bit of a five to ten FPS possible increase when you're if you're not recording or doing anything like that. It just kind of depends. I do have 16 gigs of RAM in this build. I will note that. Another note that I did, I tested on my own for you guys, and this is you know I was gonna do it as an actual test, but um, normally when a game has problems crashing and whatnot on pretty much anything, even the dying light, even the dying light two here crashed on my main PC. It has not crashed on the pavilion yet, though. I've not had it crash. I let it sit on idle. I would play, pause the game, you know, do some YouTube uh, work, whatnot, watch some YouTube uh, and stuff like that. And I would let the game just sit there on the laptop and keep the laptop on charger and just let it sit there. I let it sit there for about two hours total. And I kept doing this play, pause, plays, pause kind of little thing. And it did not crash one single time. I did not have any crash, no interruptions, nothing. It did not do a single thing. It completely just sat there. I was able to resume the game and play it with no interruptions no issues whatsoever so guys this is just another you know another video to show you guys how well this laptop really still do, does and performs and again i'll be doing more and more tests if you guys want to see uh you know some more settings or different settings different places stuff like that just let me know in the comments if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them and everything. Like I said, gameplay is still phenomenally. Um, I want to do a lot more videos on the pavilion here for the uh, Dying Light 2. I know it, the first video ca caught on tremendously. I want to thank you guys and thank any new viewers here. I, it got literally thousands of views in just a few days. So it was pretty phenomenal for me to watch. Um, and I hope this one does the same. I hope you guys enjoy this just the same. And again, let me know if you guys want to see another specific video on here. I do own the game and everything like that. So I can do... Any kind of test you guys want to see. Um, I appreciate you guys watching as always. Again, hardware is down below for everything that's in this pavilion build. I do have the Intel version, not the Ryzen version. Uh, that being said, guys, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Shit, there's a lot of them. <sighs> Open the fuck up! Oh, he did it. I doubt we're done. Trouble loves company. I can't get us in there! I'm trying. Is that all of them? I think so. Help me. Gillian, should have waited a while. Almost did. Didn't want to clean your guts off my doorstep. They've left, so can you. Oh, come on, stop being such a. Look at what? That's rare. Invite us in, or it'll. And who is this? If you let us in, you'll find out. Shallow breathing, dilated pupils, sweating like a pig. You're about to turn, and you came here? 
don't even need to look at your biomarker. Besides, I don't even have a biomarker. Used to help people, Killian. I'm a bit... Haven't been here a long. How did... I'll tell you... Huh? A fucking cabbie and a mother of mercy, Lord. <laughs> Spot you. Yeah, I know. Don't want to go up against any of those anytime soon. Once I was taking my second wife to the hospital. Never drove that fast in my life. Her waters broke three months early. You have kids? There was no saving that one. And other than that, none that I know of. Sorry. It's fine. What normal person would want his kids to see a world like this? is broken. Don't worry. Find the old bus. A bus? At zero hour, a bus crashed into the hospital. Broke through the wall. Yeah. You can use it to get inside. Since no one could get in, there's a good chance there'll be some markers left. Entrance. I marked a safe route for you. I'm waiting by the lobby. Hey! This way. Big building, huh? Do you need to go for quite a few of these for drug research? When it all got fucked, they grabbed research volunteers. They paid them loads of money. What was the result? A lot of shit. <laughs> Just a little more. We don't have much time. Stay close to me. Locked. You know how to open locks? Sure. Turn the key. 